so I had a few things on my to-do list that I still wanted to see before I left Vienna and one of them is quite far away so I woke up at half five this morning uh, packed all my stuff uh, checked out and now I'm walking to this place it's meant to be like some cool architecture on the houses and multicolored designs and stuff I don't know man this place could turn out to be terrible but I've been walking for like 45 minutes now it's in the middle of nowhere so hopefully it turns out to be good oh shit oh my dad That place was crazy. I'm pretty glad that I made uh, the trip out of here. I'm gonna go grab some breakfast real quick and then uh, head to the train station. I'm heading over to my hostel right now. It's around about 10, 15 minute walk from the train station. Hopefully they can let me check in. If not, leave my bags there. Um, I've planned a little route for myself today while I was on the train. Gonna, gonna look into the walking tours at what time they start and where from. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah man, I'm getting good vibes already. lunch it was an open buffet restaurant however a lot more expensive than I thought it was gonna be it was 4,000 Hungarian fornets so when you convert that back it's around about 12 pounds which is quite expensive for lunch you know but it was good food man I'm gonna head into town right now uh, 2 30 p.m. walking to it Say something now. Well, hiya, I'm the host in the hostel. <laughs> <laughs> Right guys, so I 
I met this girl, I'm gonna show you real quick, in Budapest, and we just met up in London. Hey! <laughs> I haven't been vlogging much here in Budapest because meeting people and just seeing where they want to go, organizing last minute things, being spontaneous, going on walking tours, going to ruin pubs, it's just taking over. But it's my last day here and uh, I decided just to hang out by myself for a little while again because it just got a bit intense. Uh, I'm gonna go see a few things, go grab some lunch and then meet up with the guys later.